after the backlash on the operation and supposed failure of private motor vehicle inspection centers, here comes another issue haunting the Land Transportation Office as well as the Department of Transportation. We have been reporting about the Child Safety on Motor Vehicles Act or RA-11229 even prior to the negative response it is now getting online. According to the DOTR, this law was passed through Congress and was approved by the President in February 2019. The Implementing Rules and Regulations or IRR were approved in December of the same year, which took effect on February 2020. A transitory period of one year was provided before the mandatory compliance as stated in the IRR. While its primary intention is to uphold safety of children while aboard motor vehicles using child restraint systems or CRS, motorists, particularly those with children aged 12 and below, have reacted differently. This is because of an LTO official's controversial response on those with big kids, and that is to get a bigger car. The official has since apologized for this. Others have also been arguing, how about those vehicles for public use? Why not use lock belts instead? They're installed anyway. Child car seats occupy too much space. Sa umpisa lang din yan. There seems to be a lot going on in people's minds. Next week, we shall have the LTO chief himself, Asik Ed Galvante, to clarify and note important points regarding the law. And that's our public service segment from Honda Cars Philippines. And should you encounter modern problems that need immediate attention, please feel free to contact us. See the details being flashed on your screen.